Mr. Janice? Mr. Janice? Mr. Janice? Mr. Janice? I stopped by your place. Your housekeeper told me you're down here swimming. 20 minutes a day. You ought to try it, Colombo. No, I'm afraid not, sir. I can't swim. I don't even like a deep tub. What can I do for you? Well, I, uh, I just want to check a few things out, sir. Uh, we found that uh, the autopsy report confirmed what we originally thought. There's no question about it. That Mr. Stafford died of suffocation when his windpipe got crushed. That doesn't surprise you, does it? Uh, no, sir. But they did find out something else, and that bothers me. It seems as though Mr. Stafford sent out for a large meal around 7.30, Chinese. Chinese? Yes, sir. Uh, he ordered some egg foo young, and uh, he had some egg rolls, barbecued spare ribs, pork fried rice. Slow poison. I guess he was hungry. Uh, he told the delivery boy he was hungry. Apparently, he'd been working at his desk all day and he skipped lunch. So what? Well, uh, I happen to be reading this book of yours, uh, The Milo Janus Guide to Health and Fitness. And uh, incidentally, it is a terrific book. But it says in here somewhere that strenuous exercise after you eat is very bad. That's right, Lieutenant. Don't you think that's strange, sir? That Mr. Stafford would eat a huge meal and a half hour or so later work out with a huge barbell? No, not really, Lieutenant. Not knowing Gene. That's how he was. He wanted to do everything right now. Forget about the rules. Lieutenant, look, I've got an appointment in about an hour. Well, there's just a couple of other things that I'd like to ask you. All right, well, uh, why don't you ask me the questions while I continue my workout, huh? Yes, certainly. Good. That's all. You'll be a new man. I'm out of shape, sir. No question. No scars you smoke. They're gonna kill you. Yes, sir. I tell you, that's how I feel right now. So, did you have some questions? Yes, sir. I, uh, I just want to catch my breath. Well, you go ahead. I can split my concentration. So, whenever you're ready, you just go ahead, huh? I wanted to ask you about um, uh, Mr. Castle. Who? Mr. Castle. Buddy Castle? Oh, Buddy, sure. Uh, you must have known him a long time. Yeah, Buddy and I go way back. Uh, he's quite a character, isn't he? How's that, Lieutenant? Uh, well, what I mean, sir, is, uh, um, well, I understand he's got quite a reputation. What do you mean, reputation? Well, what I mean, sir, is, uh, he has a record.
criminal record. You know about that? Yeah. Three years probation. A fraud conviction in Florida 11 years ago. I know everything I'm supposed to know about people I deal with, Colombo. Let me tell you something. Buddy is no thief. He's a victim of circumstances. Well, uh, the circumstances, sir, at least as far as I understand them, are that uh, he and his partners, uh, they stole nearly $400,000 from uh, some unsuspecting investors. It was an oil speculation. Some partners. They're the ones that should have gone to jail. But he was an innocent bystander. And I'm happy to have given him a break. Oh, it's wonderful. It's wonderful that a man in your position would take that attitude. I don't care what people think. Buddy is as honest as I am. Yes, sir. You want a shoelace or something? Oh, uh, no, sir. I think this will, uh, I'll get this. Thank you. It'll be good. If I can get the knot through the hole. I, I got the knot too low. I don't know if I can get it through here. Well, Lieutenant. Yes, sir. Can I ask you a question? Yes, sir. Why are you here? Sir? Why are you here? Why are you sitting there in that chair asking me these questions? Gene Stafford slipped. He fell. He died. Unfortunate, yes. But just an unfortunate accident, nothing more. Well, you see, sir, we're not really certain of that yet. Oh, you mean that uh, maybe the egg foo young he ate just before he exercised? No, sir, it was the scuff marks, really. Scuff marks? Yes, sir. You see, uh, we found these scuff marks there on the... I'll be your son of a gun. I remember when I was a kid, my grandfather, he had a piece of furniture that was exactly like this. Your grandfather must have been a very wealthy man. This piece is over 200 years old. Well, that sounds right. My grandfather, he only had old furniture. You know, he didn't believe in buying new. Just like this. There's a mirror here, and on this side... Would you like to sit down? Oh, yes. Sorry. And a mirror on the other side. What about those scuff marks? Oh, the scuff marks, right. She almost forgot. It. Uh, what about them? Oh, yeah. On a newly waxed gym floor, scuff marks. Yeah? Brown ones. Mr. Stafford's shoes had brown soles and brown heels. You mean that uh, Gene walked over the newly waxed gym floor? Walking, I'm afraid, wouldn't create these particular kind of marks. Or, uh, no, he would have to stop short or turn abruptly, you know, you know, something like that. As a matter of fact, I had some of the boys from the department come down there and try to duplicate those exact marks. That's what they had to do. Uh, I mean, if he was chasing somebody or somebody was chasing him, scuffle, struggle, you get my point. No, I don't, Lieutenant. Have you had breakfast yet? No, sir. Would you care to join me? Well, I don't want to put you out. No, it's no trouble, really. Here, put your hand down. I just take these and... Uh... Yeah, that's breakfast. That's breakfast. Are you having any? Sure. Uh, same thing? Same as you. Sir, so there's something wrong with this orange juice. It's carrot juice, Lieutenant. Oh. Just one more thing.